welcome back to the channel everyone today we're solving one of the most frustrating problems in level design i'm talking about misaligned pivot points have you ever tried to rotate or snap an acid only to have it act like this <laughs> don't worry i'll show you how to fix this in unreal engine 5 and explain why pivot points are a game changer for speed and precision in level design let's go let's talk about why pivot points are so important the pivot is the reference point for rotating, scaling, and snapping assets in your level. If the pivot isn't aligned correctly, you'll waste time adjusting positions manually. For example, here's a door with its pivot placed incorrectly. But when the pivot is on the hinge, it rotates perfectly. This isn't just about convenience, it's about optimizing your workflow. Whether you're building a model or environment or fine-tuning props, Pivot placement is key to precision. So let's start with a quick fix. If you need to adjust a pivot temporarily, you can use this shortcut. So make sure to click the object you want to fix. Hold Alt and the middle mouse click. And then you can just basically move the, the pivot anywhere you want in the object. Like this. So let's say I want to have it there. And now I can move the object anywhere I want. But this is just temporarily, you know, the thing that will happen now is let's say I want to I want to go back and I press control C. It's going to reset my pivot like this. So, again, this adjustment is great for quickly fixes, but it resets as soon as you move the asset again or you press control C. So it's not the best suggestion. The only thing that I would recommend you use this technique is uh, if you want to move the object to a specific spot and you don't want to override that asset then you can quickly move the pivot like this again and you can move the door or any other object to a specific spot and then that's it you leave it there and that's it another thing you could do is you can click the object again and now you can move the pivot by holding alt and the middle mouse click and let's say i want to have the pivot there and now i move the object anywhere i want and instead of just pressing Control c or doing anything else I just right click the object, in this case the door, I go to pivot and I press set as pivot offset right here. And now I can freely move the object anywhere I want. And if I press control C, the pivot's gonna stay there basically. You know, I don't have to worry about basically uh, resetting the, the pivot. And this works a lot better than the previous method. Uh, but again, in my opinion, this is not the best technique because sometimes the pivot doesn't snap perfectly and it's not it's not really intuitive you know it's not easy to move and it's not the best way so now i'm going to show you my recommendation and what you should do if you want to fix the pivot a lot more easier and quickly if you want the pivot adjustment to stick and stay there here's how you can do it permanently so first make sure to click the object you want to fix like the door now Go to the tab right here and usually you should have it in the selection but you're gonna use the modeling tab right here and scroll all the way down until you see transform and you're gonna see a pivot option so now make sure to click that option and now you're gonna have this gizmo right here that you could use to move the pivot anywhere you want and this is really cool uh this actually uh it snaps to the grid so my recommendation is if you want to snap it correctly make sure to have the grid right here set to 50 or 100 since it's a lot more precise than having it on one uh, right now i have it on 50 it's really simple to snap it anywhere i want so i'm just going to move the pivot uh to the bottom left corner or you could also uh, just quickly press the key right here and it's going to snap it to that bottom or i don't know say you want to have it in the left side or at top or in the center you know it's really simple so I'm going to snap it to the bottom, but now I want to have it to the left side like this. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to accept. And now this asset right here, it should have the fix. As you see here, it's going to have like a, like a check mark right here. That means that the object has been changed and that fix to the pivot is going to be there permanently unless you change it again or do something else. But that change is going to be there all the time. So that's a good thing you know that's a permanent change and the pivot should be correctly placed now so let's say i want to have i want to have this object right here set in the middle of the walls now since i changed the, the pivot 
I can rotate this door and it should open correctly like this. And again, I can move it anywhere I want and press control C and the pivot's going to stay there. Sometimes Unreal's tools aren't enough and you need precise control. That's where exporting to a 3D tool like Blender or Maya comes in. So first, you're going to click the object you want to export and you're going to press left control and B. And that's going to bring you to the asset right here in the folders. You're going to right click it, go to asset actions. And right here, you're going to click export. This is going to open a folder and you're going to save this asset with a specific name in that folder. So make sure you remember. Once you have it saved, you're going to drag and drop it from that folder to the end and you want to change to origin point like Maya or Blender. Once you do that there and make sure it works, you're going to export it there as an FBX and with a name you remember, and you're going to bring it back here to Unreal Engine. So for me, this method is perfect for more complex assets or even when you're working on detailed props. So if, if it's something more complicated, I recommend this method. If not, you can stay with the a previous method I recommended is a lot faster and a lot easier. Now here's a bonus tip. Proper pivot placement is essential for modular workflows. Aligning pivots to the grid makes snapping walls, floors, or ceilings effortless. And remember, pivots can also help with animations and interactions like opening doors or rotating platforms. So yeah, that's it for today's tutorial. If this video helped you, hit that like button and subscribe for more level design tips. Now, What's your biggest challenge in Unreal Engine? Let me know in the comments below and I might cover it in my next video. Until next time, happy designing.